Okay, today I'm gonna to show you a fantastic new tool from Red Giant. It's Colorista 4. And I've got Colorista already set in my favorites. So we're gonna drag it onto this clip. And one of the beautiful things that they've got now in Colorista 4 is a guided color correction tool. So if you're not sure about how to adjust your image, this will take you along a nice, simple path. So once we click it, it shows you what it's going to look like before and after. First, decide if your video is just a normal video, flat video, if it's been shot in log, or if you don't know. We're, this one was shot with flat video, so we're gonna bring up flat video. We're gonna click next. Notice what it's done now is it's converted the image to black and white so that you can adjust your black levels. And if you take your black levels down too far, you get this blue color that warns you that you're crunching those blacks down too much. And if you take it up too much, it just looks washed out. So let's take it down. You notice they've given us a little bit of a guide with this line. Let's see how close we can get to it. I like a nice crunchy black without going too far. So now we can take it about there and then let's click to the next one. Now, this is our white level. So notice we're blowing out a little bit, we're clipping. So let's now take down just enough to get rid of that and give some, some detail to the area. This is the histogram for midtones. And what you wanna try and do is get it centered somewhere in the middle. This is pretty close. I think I'll bring it over just a touch more, and that's where I'm gonna go ahead and leave it. Now contrast, again contrast, you wanna spread between the highs and the lows. So I think we could open this up just a little bit more to spread it out. Notice, notice what happens when we really crank it out, it goes out there pretty far. I don't wanna go quite that much. I'm gonna keep it pretty close to where it already is. Just open it up a little bit more. Now we get to saturation. This is our vector scope and watch what happens as we start to bring this up. You're staying within the bounds, staying within the bounds and then bang, we start to get right here at the edge. Now with this clip, it's not too bad. So we're just gonna back it off just a little bit. I like how the colors look here. That's where I'm gonna go ahead and leave it. Lastly, we can go ahead and adjust temperature tint and adjust for neutral gray. Now we can either use a color eyedropper to go ahead and point at something white in the scene to create our neutral gray, or we can go ahead and look at here and we see how our colors are mixed. If we take it this way, notice on our vector scope, our blue has gone extreme, which is of course way too much. Like if we go the other way, we can take it very red. Now this may be something that you want but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it pretty much centered up in the middle, just a little bit tinging towards the blue because this is a day to night 360 time lapse. Tint, I'm gonna leave alone, but of course you could take it all the way green if you wanted to for some reason, and all the way to the other end, it's up to you. I'm gonna leave it right dead in the middle. And I like my, my gray, so I'm gonna leave it right where it is. And that's it, you're finished. Click finished. There's your before, there's your after. If you want to, you can go back and change any of the levels that you adjusted. And there we go. We have a beautiful image now. And there's our time-lapse.